CNC pocketing is the latest feature in Kirimoto 3.4. In CNC mode, if you're not in 3.4, use the version menu to get there. The way pocketing works allows you to select regions that you want to do a pocketing operation on. So this is an example of just milling down to that surface. We can also select multiple surfaces, surfaces from different parts, and have those milled out like this. Um, this is distinct from roughing and things like that that are global. This allows you to target you know, regions even if they're not flat. Another nice thing about this is that you can select uh, different end mills for different areas. So uh, in this case, we'll like choose like a quarter inch and put that there. Do another pocketing operation with, let's say, an eighth inch here. And then add another pocketing operation where we put in a sixteenth here. And then run that, and you'll see that we have different size end mills for each of these different areas. So that's, that's super useful. Um, and then I want to cover a couple, one uh, feature of pocketing that is unique to this operation as well, and that's the expand operation. So let's just choose this area here, choose something like a quarter inch end mill, and then mill that. So what's going to happen here when this is milled is you're going to have a radius here. And if you want, you can choose expand, let's say three millimeters and Reslice that and you'll see that these lines move out to clear out that area. So let's just make it extreme so you can get a better sense of that. There you go. So the expand operation is super useful in a handful of situations um, where you need to clean up these edges here. But for constrained pockets like these guys over here, that's not something you're going to have to do. Anyway, this is a really useful new feature. I look forward to hearing your feedback in the comments below. Let me know how it's going for you and if you find any bugs. Thanks.